I'm joined now by first round selection of the Calgary Flames and Vancouver Giants forward Samuel Honzek. Sam, first of all, congratulations on being selected by the Flames of the 2023 NHL draft. Now, I know the draft was all the way in back in June, but I'm willing to bet your memory of it is still very, very clear. Take me through Nashville and what was going through your head when you heard the Calgary Flames call your name in that first round. Okay, so first of all, thank you. Uh, Nashville was awesome. I enjoyed it for all, like with everything I had, and you know, it's the moment you're waiting for whole season, whole life, and it's everyone's dream. And you know, when my name name was called, and it was really, really good feel, and you know, kind of, kind of everything fall off for me, like stress, nervous, nervous, and stuff like that. So uh, it was really good feel. Now, when you saw Calgary was on the clock at 16, you know, did you have an idea that your name was going to be called or was that more of a, a pleasant surprise for you? Uh, I think I a little bit felt that, like, that I might be selected by them. And, you know, then I heard my name and it was like, yeah, let's, this is the time. So it was really good. Now, you got a chance to visit Calgary during the Giants Central Division road trip last season, and then you got to experience a little bit more of the city when you went to Flames Development Camp in July. You know, just on first glance, what have you enjoyed about the city of Calgary? And, you know, as a follow-up to that, you know, what excites you most about being a member of the Flames? Uh, it was, I think it was a really nice city. It's, it's a really good environment here, and it was sunny when I came here. And, you know, during the development camp, we had the Stampede here. So it's really busy here and, you know, lots of lots of things going on. So, uh, like, I'm happy to be here and, like, I'm really enjoyed it. Did you get to, you know, enjoy Stampede as well? Or is that something that's maybe on the bucket list for next season or, or uh, next I would, year? I would say this season or, like, the Stampede, I was there only once. So I think, uh, I think it will be on bucket list on next year. Hopefully I'll have the chance to come go, go there. And uh, did you know much about the city before you got drafted or are you kind of studying up on, on Calgary's history since, uh, since then? Uh, I would say like my couple of friends from Slovakia live, live here. So uh, it was kind of like I knew where Cal what Calgary is and stuff. And then when we had the trip here, then I kind of like look at it to the city, but not much, but now I'm really, really happy I'm here. Now, uh, so you went from the draft at the end of June to training camp at the start of July. And then on July 26th, the Flames signed you to a three-year entry-level contract. Congratulations on that, by the way. Now, what did, what did it mean to you knowing that the Flames wasted very little time to get you signed? And, you know, just in general, how did it feel to sign your first pro deal? Uh, it was it was big, big thing for me, you know. Another thing you're waiting for a whole life. And, you know, now I, I'm signed. I'm really glad that... They decided to sign me and now I need to just put work uh, myself and work and, you know, just prove it that I'm worth it and, you know, uh, try to fight for a team. Now let's talk about your teammate, Jaden Lipinski, who also got selected by the Flames on the second day of the draft. You know, walk us through how you were feeling when you found out he was also a prospect of the Flames alongside you and how excited are you knowing that you guys have the chance to stick together outside of the Giants organization? It was a really good feel, you know, like your teammate got called the same team and, you know, uh, it was really awesome and I'm happy for him because he deserved it and, you know, I know him uh, a lot, like not a lot, but one season and I think I, I know him really well. So uh, I think he deserved it and I was really happy to have someone here and I can really, really use it when he's here and, you know, in the English and stuff, like it's good to have him. And what were some of the first few things you guys said to each other when you, you did get a chance to talk? We did see on social media that you two were did get to uh, connect in Nashville. Yeah, yeah. It was like I was in the uh, box watching the draft and then I was like, oh, Calgary's on the full like, pick. So let's see who they pick and then pick uh, Jaden. So I was like, oh, my God, it's my team. I like it. It's awesome. So I was really happy and it took a while to see him. But then I finally saw him. So I just... Tell him congrats, and now we are teammates again. So uh, our friendship and journey, our way, it's been a bit longer. Sam, you came into the league selected 10th overall by the Giants at the 2022 CHL import draft. And then you joined the team for the 2022-23 uh, regular season. You know, tell us about your first season in the Western Hockey League and how have you been joining your time with the Giants? Uh, I think I had a really good season and especially it was my first season. So it's going to be memorable. I will remember it until 
I'm die probably, but it was really good. You know, uh, Vancouver Giants had uh, pretty good names there. And I think our team wasn't that good, but we had a really good chemistry and, you know, lots of guys, lots of leaders. And I, I look up to, and I'm glad that they helped me to get on draft. And uh, it's a big thank you, big, big thank to them. You finished second in Giants scoring, named BC Division Rookie of the Year, and you were a finalist for the WHL's Rookie of the Year. Can you talk about the success you quickly found in the WHL and you know how that may have helped you kind of get on the radar for some of the NHL clubs at the draft, including the Flames? So I would say, uh, like, honestly, I didn't even know, like, the, this is a thing. So I was like, you know, guys were saying, like, oh, you're key of the year, or player of the month. So I didn't know this stuff is, like, counting here or, like, saying. So, like, it was pretty awesome, like, see my name there. And uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, if I would play whole season, maybe I would end up first. But I'm glad that my season went like this, and I'm happy to be on this spot. And I hear you're back in Calgary training and prepping for training camp with the Flames. You know, what's your training regimen looking like nowadays? And, you know, do you have any goals set before you head to uh, better? I guess you're in Calgary already, but you head to training camp. Uh, I want to like, I'm training here skating. So I'm trying to uh, be ready on a rookie camp and, you know, like, uh, come there uh, or go there in the best shape I can and, you know, I'll fight for a team and spot and play some preseason games. You mentioned Stampede's probably on the bucket list for next summer. You know, uh, since you're in Calgary, have you had a chance to experience some more sights and sounds the city has to offer now? And, you know, any more plans for sightseeing before training camp? Ooh, uh, I would say we, we've been to Banff, the mountains there. So it was really, really awesome. But uh, honestly, now just train and uh, hopefully one day I need to check on the internet what I can do here. But I think there's a lot of stuff to do. So it's going to be really, really exciting.